That was uh, quite a quite a feud there. It was a very bitter feud too, and uh, it was a very uh, it was a very rough feud to go through with Rick because uh, he certainly didn't like me at that time, and I didn't like him, and we were both trying to be at the top of uh, of uh, championship wrestling from Georgia. And at that time, as uh, I felt like I was much better a competitor than what Rick was, you know. But that's my own opinion. You know? And what are your thoughts on, you know, Rick today? Have you had any any interactions? Have you been able to talk to his family at all? Have you have you heard anything about the latest the health on Nature Boy? No, uh, I've uh, I sent my regards to him. And, uh, boy, I wish him the best. And uh, it's very important to me that he comes along, you know. And uh, to be very honest with you, is you uh, take the old-timers, and uh, there's uh, not many of us that are left that are headed to the ring, you know. And I would, as I'd like to see. Rick come back and come into the ring. I'd like to go in the ring with him. You know, uh, I really mean that. I'd like to have one more chance with him. Oh, and, we would. Uh, Rick would, uh, basically, I think he'd uh, like to be in the ring with me, too. You know, hopefully that uh, he would want me in there as a competitor. And, you know, it's just like Lawler. I'm looking forward to this. It's very important to me. And uh, I have no intention of anything but coming out on top at the end of the night. And it means a great deal to me because if I don't, I'll be uh, totally upset with with myself because this will probably be the very last time that I ever get in the ring with him. And that's why the fans got to get out there to big time wrestling on the 22nd, 23rd. Could be the last time you see one of the most epic rivalries of all time with you and Lawler. And then, you know, like, my God, Terry Funk's career is just amazing. One of the all time best, if not the greatest of all time. So many great matches and so many great memories and I still remember that pile driver that you put Ric Flair at Wrestle War 89 after he fought Steamboat he got a little you know he got in your face and you gave him a nice pile driver I still remember that very fondly awesome awesome moment uh, that was uh, a hell of a night for me it was it was a hell of a night that uh, I put him through that table and I think that uh, I think the people uh, around the country still remember that that moment. If it wasn't uh, me going through the table, I mean, if it wasn't him going through the table, I'm sure he would have tried to do the same thing to me. People go ahead and they say, "Why did you do that? Why not?" That is a great point because he sure as hell would have done it to you. And that was like one of the first yes. times you kind of came out of a little bit of a retirement there because you, you were behind the uh, the booth, you know, calling the matches. And then you, you came out, obviously, flyer got in your face, you power drive him. And it leads to the one of the greatest feuds of all time. I mean, 89 could have been the feud of the year. Awesome match, a great American bash. Then you and Muda against Flair and Sting at Halloween Havoc. And then it all kind of culminated. I never with, quit. I never quit. Yep. I was going to say it all culminated. They said that I quit. I, quit, said I quit. I never quit. I never said I quit. And on top of that, I was never told the stipulations of the match. That's the truth. Yes. The infamous uh, two words, five letters, I quit. It was a five-star match. Clay yeah, I want to go ahead and get that, uh, I want to get that asshole in the ring, too. <laughs> Rick Flair, one more time. Yeah, you got to make up for that uh, that so-called quitting that you, you know that uh, at New York knockout. That's exactly right. 
One of the greatest exactly matches of all right. time. Unbelievable match. Thank awesome. you. It's just unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, been in a lot of battles, a lot of guys throughout the years. Uh, God, I don't even know how many. But uh, the great ones are, are, I mean, my gosh, I've been in the ring with every great wrestler from the that came out of the 50s, you know. Honest to God, 50s came uh, the Mike DiBiase's, you know, uh, all of them. Just uh, every great wrestler that there's been. And, uh, you know, as I'm going to tell you the truth, is there's been a lot of great wrestlers that came out of the, the Tennessee area here. And that's a God's honest truth has been some of the greatest ones of all times come right out of there. And, uh, you know, as I've, I've, I'll, I'll say this, and with all honesty, that Jerry Lawler is, uh, I knock him, say he's, he's, uh, he's a moron, this and that. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. The guy is a great competitor. I mean, one thing he is, he might be a moron, but he's not a quitter. And I know that. And I'm going to know that whenever I get in the ring with him this week. Not this week, but when I do. 